Hey, I'm John Parker, and uh, we just have a CARES video that we'd like to share. Uh, this is a very exciting procedure. It's still in its infancy. I'm sure it's going to be a different procedure in a year and two years and five years, but it makes such big changes in people's lives now that uh, it's like cataract surgery was just a few years ago, just exploding in terms of the uh, changes and uh, I think it's going to keep ch changing, but this is currently the way we're doing the surgery. Uh, first, we just mark the center of the cornea like we would with an Intax uh, procedure, and then we create a uh, mark for the channels that we're going to create. We like creating the channels manually because we think they're stronger than if you just cut through the lamellae. Here I'm making a little one millimeter incision, both in an American and Russian fashion, and then we're putting a suction ring on the eye. Now this patient does not have a big fissure, so it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but even with such a patient uh, in the office, we can uh, cradle a pocket uh, with a dissector and then just thread this uh, uh, lamellar dissector between uh, the collagen layers in this patient's cornea. And uh, this blunt dissection, we think, gives the cornea the maximum amount of strength which is really what we want to do in keratoconus is make sure that we don't compromise the strength of the patient's cornea. And then the segments are dried and so they're very easy to insert and we just thread them in. And in fact, they're, uh, when they're dried, they're actually thinner than the intact segments, so they, they thread right in. And uh, uh, this, this one has not been trimmed, so I'm going to trim it before I uh, put it all the way in. It's, uh, full 180 degrees, so it's a little bit uh, longer than this channel. So we'll just trim off the edge of it and uh, tuck it in. But this is pretty much the whole procedure. Uh, patients don't have near as much discomfort with this as they would with uh, cross-linking. Uh, and generally patients see significantly better the next day. Um, what we like to do in some cases is give a little extra anesthesia, and that's what I'm doing here. We like Expirel. It's a uh, special form of bupivacaine, which lasts for several days. So we just give a little uh, Expirel, about two ml uh, sub-tenons, and that's the end of the procedure. And so this patient's gonna be very comfortable and they're gonna see better uh, the day after surgery. So anyway, it's a great surgery. And I'm sure it's gonna keep getting better and better.